Well, both tell me they are sober tonight, but that can change easily, and that's why they rely on the team at Alternative Peer Group to support them, even when they make a mistake. By the age of, I'd say, about 14, 13, 14 years old, I was a methamphetamine addict. Towards the end, it was um, heroin, black tar heroin. Cara Greenwell and Greg Gonzalez didn't care about school or their families. They were fixated on drugs. I hit my low, what they call it, I hit the lowest of the low. Greg started smoking pot by his 13th birthday. Then his addiction spiraled and he did whatever he could to get the money to fuel it. Like I didn't even realize just like the damage I've done. It was just like a, I was just going on and on as far as, as, far as I could go. And I wasn't looking back, you know, I was just, going straight for the target, which was drugs. For Cara, her addiction brought her new friends and relief from troubles at home. I didn't plan ahead. I didn't think ahead. My thing was live in the moment till the moment ends. Today, Cara is celebrating 14 months sober. Greg just relapsed last month. I just, I never, I never go to meetings, but you know, I'm gonna start trying. They consider themselves lucky because their families pushed them into treatment, leading them to the Alternative Peer Group or APG. A big struggle with being a teen and getting clean is you do lose your friends because in the drug world, you connect through drugs. But at APG, students are surrounded by what's called positive peer pressure. When they're surrounded by other students that are not using, they actually are held more accountable from their peers. When I relapsed and I showed up and I had to admit it, it was embarrassing. The center is open after school, on weekends and holidays. Along with 12-step meetings, students do community service and get to try new activities like yoga, art and dance. You know, you get to see that light bulb go off in them. You get to see them switch from a mind of I'm going to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. Nobody cares about me. Nobody loves me. It, I'm only hurting myself. All that stuff that we go through too. I want to live a life in recovery. I want to graduate high school. I want to go to college. I want to get a job. Now both these teens aren't looking for their next high. Instead, they're striving for a higher education. Never thought it was possible. I wanted nothing to do with it. I thought by the time I hit 18, I'm going to be having a gravestone above me. That's it. It's available. Life is available for them, too. There's a lot of life to live, and there's a lot of joy in living. And Cara plans to study psychology and join the military. Greg wants to become a mechanic. Engel told me tonight for every dollar spent on recovery, that's $7 saved in other services like hospitals, courts, or jail. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.